Well, hello one and all. It is another day. Another beautiful day. It's the middle of the week and I've come out to Antelope Island, which is a state park. I'm going to try for some uh, wildlife photos. Bison have been grouped up pretty good out here, so hoping that they'll still be doing that, hoping that I can have some decent light. It is uh, cloudy, unfortunately. I was hoping that there'd be some good light and I can play off of that, but uh, eh, I still may be able to make it work. I don't know. We'll see, but kind of end of winter, early spring right now. So the water's uh, pretty low. Still most of it's up in the mountains in the form of snow. Not to mention the Salt Lake has been uh, drying up year over year, which is very unfortunate. Don't know what will come of this, but uh, any day that you can get out, get away from the desk and take some photos, spend some time outside or looking for animals or whatever, it's a good day. So come along. So it's kind of cool. I don't know if you can see it out there or not, but there's a pile of ice out there from uh, everything being frozen and as it thaws and the currents and wind and everything. You can look at it through my lovely clean window. But it's all piled up right there, which is kind of cool. No real way to get to it though to, to do any sort of photo or anything. This is kind of dirty. When we get up to the marina, I'll show you. It's uh, bone dry right now. Yeah, there's a little bit of water in there. Maybe an airboat is what you need for the marina right now. Pretty crazy. Ooh, there's one crossing the road. Yeah, quite a few here. That's pretty good. Nice. Yeah, we got a guy. To, uh, make friends with them. For those who are not familiar with bison, that's a good bull right there. Big guy. Those are all bulls bachelor group, it looks like. A lot of people that come out here that are not familiar with bison at all, they just see them as a cow, like a domestic cow. But uh, they're not. <laughs> they're far from that. They can be quite dangerous. So there's a good bull bedded right here. That's nice. Let's see what we can do. We're going to keep working around here, see what we can find.
Well, that's what we call a successful evening. It was a lot of fun. A lot of bison around, like I anticipated. Got to spend some good time with a group of bulls that were close by the road there. Could just sit in the truck and take photos. I could be safe, didn't have to worry about pressuring them. Yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun. I don't know how they'll come out. The lighting was not really phenomenal or anything like that, but it was still fun to be out, and I'm sure there's something I can do with them. So, like I said, got to spend time with uh, the bison, and then I uh, also got a couple of shots of a pronghorn. They're coming right by this guy again. This was a guy I spent so much time with right here. He's an old bull. You can see on his, uh, I guess it'd be his left horn. He's all broken up and worn and looks like he's got scars on his face and stuff, I'm sure, from fighting. Which I'm really looking forward to uh, this August when it's the rut coming out here and watching these guys go at it. Yeah, good evening, good time. Never can complain when I uh, get to be out here and taking photos having a good time so yeah thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed this content please consider uh, liking it if you did helps me out and uh, yeah catch you on the next one